guys and welcome back to another video of as always Aaliyah where we always <laughs> keep it real now in this video I'll be showing you guys my Ayurvedic clay mask and how I styled my hair in this lovely twist out but we'll be getting into the details of what Ayurveda actually is and how it can help your hair grow <laughs> So guys, I'll be doing a walkthrough of how I actually got this style. This will be like a talk over instead of a voiceover because it's me on video showing you guys what I did. But I just wanted to talk about the clips that you're watching. And the first step to doing your Ayurvedic clay mask is preparation and what actually goes into your clay mask. So these are the tools or the products, I should say, that I use to create the Ayurveda clay mask. Now, the first product that I started out with was Hanera. Now, I actually never heard of Hanera before. It was the first time I saw it when I went to go pick it up in the store. The only reason that I purchased Hanera was because of the uh, ingredients in there. And I was very shocked to see that it was pretty much a combination of all the Ayurvedic clay masses that there are. Guys, I also did use neem in my clay mask. Now, most people do use neem powder in their clay masses just because it's known for all of its healing properties that it does have in there so why not throw it in it's also known as a cooling agent if the scalp is too hot or heated up you can use neem to cool down your scalp now guys, I also use Brahmi. Brahmi is from a plant that grows in wet tropical environments and it also has health healing properties for your hair as well. Now this is known for strengthening the hair roots. It also makes the hair denser, which we all really want. We love some dense hair. Just imagine eating like a chocolate dense cake, how moisturized and good that cake is. That's how we want our hair to be nice and dense. It also makes your hair long and shiny as well. Brahmi also can control your dandruff if you do if you do have a dry itchy scalp you can use Bromney for dandruff control it reduces the amount of hair loss so if you guys are seeing any hair loss in your hair try Bromney it is a great healing agent if you are losing a lot of hair or if you're seeing your hair come out try Bromney all right y'all so Shaka Kai is pretty cool it actually comes from a shrub like tree and it's grown in India now Shaka Kai is dried and then is grounded into a fine powder which we have in the mixes right here and the powder is also used for cleansing your hair it's used for promoting hair growth and strengthening the hair from its roots which is very important because we all know that our hair grows from the roots so Shaka Kai is going to help strengthen the hair from the roots and that's why we use it in our clay mask because we need strong roots for our hair to grow so guys the next powder that I used in my Ayurveda clay mask was Aretha Aretha actually comes from a soap nut tree in India and this is a natural natural cleanser for mother nature pretty much because of how it's non-chemically processed the soap nuts are just dried out in the sun and they are originated in India and that is where Aretha comes from the soap nut tree in India how cool is that you're learning something eh? now guys I also used an array of oils that I had starting out with the almond oil that I do have right here and then I go ahead and had that rosehip seed oil which is one of my favorites now I'm just using the oil that I have around my house but uh, rosehip seed oil it's all organic and it's cold pressed so it's not uh, chemically processed at all now I have black Jamaican castor oil as well in my mixture and I also have regular castor oil and this is cold pressed and it's also organic I do have the healing oil from Naturally Divine Products that was sent to me. I love this stuff. And also, Char Naturals, who doesn't want the fresh herbs and Ayurvedic oil in their Ayurvedic mixture? You need it. Go buy it. You need it. That's awesome. Love that stuff. I have nothing bad to say about that product. I really do enjoy it. All right, so I did go ahead and just pour all those powders in there together, and then I went ahead and mixed them with my chopping sticks. Now, these are just like wooden screwers that I had laying around the house. When I'm mixing this, I don't really want to use anything metal because I don't know how the powders are going to react to it, so I have a plastic bowl and some wooden sticks that I'm using uh, to mix it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to start to do is add in all of my oils to that mixture. Now remember, the only thing that's in there right now is just the powder. So we're going to start to add and incorporate all the oils in the mixture. I first go in with that Char Naturals that I was just talking about. I absolutely love this oil so much. And I use that as my first oil in my mixture. Now the second thing that I'm going to go in with is the almond oil. Now I took a... Uh, 
a heaping amount I don't measure y'all I just pour it in there however much goes in is however much goes in if you guys want to see some measurements please check out my first Ayurvedic video where I do a full demonstration and I go in with measurements as well but we ain't doing that this time we just gonna go until the Ayurveda gods tell us to stop so keep pumping until you feel in your heart that that's enough but go ahead and keep mixing in all of your oils. You see we use the castor oil. Now we're using the rosehip seed oil. I do have a dropper for that. So I am just going to go ahead and take a few drops. And I'm running a little low unfortunately. That is like my favorite stuff. That rosehip seed oil. It feels so good on your scalp. You guys, if you have not tried rosehip seed oil, please go check it out. And I am using that black Jamaican castor oil as well. This has a very thick consistency to it. And I feel like you just know it's going to work. It reminds me of cough, cough syrup how thick that consistency is and if you remember taking cough syrup as a kid you just knew that stuff was going to work because it was so thick i am going in with the healing oil from naturally divine products that was sent to me this stuff is also equally amazing i put this in like all of my mixtures that i have and i'm using it in my scalp as well right now and we're going to use that good old aloe vera juice now i got this from my local store at trader joe's i'm sure you can pick it up anywhere at your local farmer's market or store or purchase it online I am starting off with just a little bit of the aloe vera plant water and then I'm going to continue to mix it until it becomes the consistency that I like. So keep stirring. <laughs> Okay guys, because I am going to be using this on my hair overnight, I am going to apply the Apply to Dry Overnight Mask from the main choice. I feel like this is the perfect thing to add to the mixture because it is already an overnight mask and I do want it a little bit more on the creamier side and I also want the consistency to be a little bit more creamier as well. So we're going to go ahead and just add all of the Apply to Dry Overnight Mask from the main choice to our mixture. Now this is the traditional Hindu system of medicine guys. Like this this Ayurveda this clay mask that we're using this powder that we're using that looks like mud this is grounded up from plants from trees from soap nuts and you're mixing that all together for your hair all of this stuff is all natural and it's coming from mother earth and that's why it's known as the mother of all healing because all of the property all of the clay masses are coming from mother earth go ahead and take yourself a nice plastic baggie make sure there's no holes in the bag just in case the mixture does fall over you want every Everything to stay in the bag but go ahead and contain the bag you're gonna put your mixture in the plastic baggie and tighten it up and get as much air out of it as possible think of it again like cake batter or pancake batter if you just leave it sitting out overnight it's gonna get hard and crusty on top that's why we cover it up so it can continue to be that smooth mixture that we created that's why I use the plastic bag and I do store it in a cool area and I let it sit for 24 hours before I apply it to my hair now let's go and apply the mask to my hair I do break down my hair into two halves and then I have the chunks of hair that I start on the process now mine did fall over that's why I mentioned to you to make sure there's no holes in your bag which thank God there were no holes in my bag because I did knock my mixture over but it was all in the plastic baggie so it's okay so I did go ahead and open it and you can see because we concealed it and took out all the air it's still that nice creamy consistency that we created yesterday look how gooey it is doesn't it look like mud of course it does because it came from mother nature what color do you want it to be <laughs> so go ahead and just start to part your hair and section your hair into smaller sections my hair is dirty honey it was screaming for this cleansing mask now this is going to sit in my hair for 24 hours so make sure when you're applying your hair you don't have anything to do the next day because this is like a three-day process i know it's why most people don't like doing hair to clay masses because they take forever day one is preparation and letting it sit day two is applying it to your hair letting it sit day three is washing it out and styling your hair and then you can even go into day four because if you style your hair you have to let it sit overnight and dry like i did Whew, that was a lot <laughs> But just go ahead and apply the mask all over your hair. You can see that I didn't use any type of liquid because I already put the Ayurveda juice in there. I mean the uh, aloe juice in there. So I didn't even need to. And another important thing that you're going to remember to do is you're going to want to focus on the scalp, the, the root, the shaft, and the ends. Get it everywhere because all of those different powders in your clay masses is going to target different things. Some cool off the scalp, 
some cleanse the scalp, some tightens the hair, some targets the root of the hair. Like each clay mask does a different thing, or each powder, I should say, it targets and it focuses on a different thing. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> so continue to part the hair and separate the hair and you're just going to go ahead and apply and I don't separate big parts. I separate very small parts because I want to get in there and go in on my roots as well. This um, was a cleansing product and it felt amazing on my scalp. It was nice and mushy. I don't know how to describe it. Like it wasn't a regular clay mask because it was a little thicker but it was like very nice and mushy and it felt cool. It was very cool. I did go ahead and apply that all over to one half of my hair. I am going to go ahead and just kind of pin that out the way so I can focus on the other half now. Now I did have a lot left over when I was done putting it on my hair so instead of me throwing it out or trying some way to uh, retain the mixture I just went ahead and used it all on my hair. I kept going back and sectioning my hair and just reapplying more, reapplying more until all the mixture was on. I also like loaded it on top of my head as well near the crown and all in the crevices so even though I had a lot left over and I used a lot as well it was really enough for probably like two people. Uh, the mixture that I made but I, I put it all on my hair and it worked perfectly Okay, so once you applied your mixture all over your head, now you're, you're going to want to go ahead and take the two halves and just smack them right on top of your hair some way. And it's going to stick because you have this thick mixture in your hair. So go ahead and just put all your hair on top of your head and try your best to get the plastic cap on your head. You can see we're using a lot of plastic caps because we want to retain the moisture and we don't want the hair to dry out at all. So by putting a plastic cap on our hair, it's going to remove all the oxygen from your hair and it won't be able to dry out out because it's covered and it's going to retain all that moisture and all that goodness that you just worked so hard for so make sure you put a plastic cap I'm actually doubling it up and putting two plastic caps on my head and then I also go in with a long tube sock and I wrap it all around the perimeter of my head on my ears so when um, the mixture wants to fall down these the tube sock will catch it instead of it getting everywhere so that's a good tip that I learned from natural 85 is to use a long tube sock when you're doing deep conditioners overnight or mass treatments overnight so the um, mass does not fall down and seep into your shirt or your pillows or anything like that it's going to be protected with that long tube sock I know good idea right <laughs> <laughs> so guys I did let that mixture sit on my hair all night long the next day I went ahead and just washed my hair out and this is where we're starting right here I do want to talk to you guys about what I used in the shower after I watch wash the mixture out I did go in with a shampoo you don't need a shampoo after you use your Ayurveda clay mask because it already cleanses your hair the sole purpose of me using a shampoo was just to make sure that all of that rud and all that the sandiness it felt very gritty was out of my hair like if I put my hands in my hair I could feel sand like material or sand like I don't know grittiness so you want to make sure all that is out of your hair so that's why I went ahead and used the shampoo and it just it completely got it out so I went ahead and with the Amazon hair day lustrous lock shampoo I did not use a lot of this again it was just to get that grittiness off my hair because you know water is one thing but shampoo it is clean baby it is clean now after the shampoo I did go in with a conditioner and that was the exotic kool-aid um, infinite conditioner right here and then I used this for a to sit on my hair while I washed my body and then I also detangled with this as well this says that this um, is a co-wash, a leave-in, a detangler, a rinse-out, and a pre-poo. So I just use this as my detangler right here. And this smells so good, by the way. 
if you guys have never tried this line of this stuff i always buy this every time main choice has sales like i have my staples that i go to and purchase because i always run out of this stuff it's so thick so creamy and my hair loves it it helps to retain the moisture so much in your hair but i did a leave-in on top of that and my leave-in that i used was from the pal collection we're just rocking out with these main choice products today guys i did go in with the pal collection this is products obsessively working collection the leave-in comment below if you've tried this guys every time the main choice drops a brand new line or collection it's like my duty to go get it and be one of the first people to purchase it and review it like that's just like my thing and then i also used a mousse as i was styling my hair and this is for the twist out i went in with the mood collection this is the black tea and vitamin fusion mousse love this stuff right here this stuff is absolutely amazing her other mousse that she has i forget what line it's from but it's super sticky and i just don't like it and my hair doesn't like it but this mousse is a really good mousse and i did use this on my hair so guys i just continued to put twist all in my hair with that mousse that i used i it does look like i used a lot but there was a lot of conditioner left in my hair from the shower as well um so i always like od when i use products but it's okay because it's not about how much you use it's about the end result and like a lot of people are leaving comments saying like don't use as much product or you use too much product but like how can you use too much when the end result came out flawlessly you know what i'm saying so it's like you think you used too much but you really didn't <laughs> that was pretty much it i allowed my hair to dry overnight i did leave my twist in all night all day long and all night long because i wanted them to be well well dry before i take them out if you have ever took out twist or ever took out a style before it's dry you already know you failed it's like it's like a test like if you take it out before it's ready like you completely fail make sure your hair is dry before you take it out you know you just you just want to <laughs> make sure it'll save you a lot of a lot of tears if you make sure that your hair is dry before you take it out And now you've seen from start to finish how I style my hair. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment below what you would like to see on my channel next, guys. I am doing so many hair videos. I'm throwing them at you. Are you catching them? I am throwing them at you. I am giving you the good deeds on how to grow your hair and how to retain your hair and how to have healthy hair. So if you guys like what you see, please comment below, like, subscribe, and share because we are awesome over here. But without further ado, my name is Aaliyah. This is As Always Aaliyah where we always <laughs> keep it real. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.